don't know what to say. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Ozone. To, uh, today we are going over the name of the crying child. Now bear in mind this is just speculation but there is so much evidence to support this name of the crying child which I will tell you in a second but first of all before I tell you the name of the crying child I want to tell you the name of the person who found this out and it is blowing my mind as I speak first of all thank you to underscore for sharing this post with me but on reddit you slash wolfie 1740 kingdom you are a legend Honestly, you are such a legend for finding this piece of evidence. Now, believe me when I say, this piece of evidence comes from the survival logbook. I know, I know. When I first heard that, my heart just dropped. My, my stomach, my, my, my heart, my, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Look, it's mind blowing that there are still things in the survival logbook that are unsolved. Now, I say that, but maybe there aren't any more things because maybe all of these things um, have allowed us to solve, have allowed us to piece all of the things that we still haven't solved about, uh, about the logbook and it has put them all together and now we have this from it. So, the name of the bite victim, the name of 1983's bite victim is Evan Afton, okay? That's that's that. It's Evan Afton. It might not be, it might not be, but when you hear this evidence, it is going to blow your mind and I don't think you're gonna say it's anyone else at this point, okay? I it is it is Evan. I like my heart is now set on it. It is Evan. Um, if you have read The Real Jake, um, then Evan is going to sound familiar to you, and it's things will start to click. I mean, I haven't actually read The Real Jake, I just got told this, I'm actually reading it tomorrow for an audiobook for you guys, so I'm going to do that as quickly as possible. But, if you have read The New Jake, then Evan is going to sound familiar, because it is the person in that story. I can't tell you that much information, because as I said, I haven't read much of it. But Evan's older brother is called Michael, okay? Evan's older brother is called Michael. That already is compelling evidence. And I know in the Fazbear Frights books, Scott doesn't usually use canon names to the lore of the games. Um, but I think he has... I mean, if you think in the mind of Scott, um, he's made this survival logbook to confirm the name of the crying child. We never found it, so he has made a Fazbear Frights book with that name in it, um, so that we can connect the dots and confirm that it is Evan, and I'm pretty sure it is Evan. Anyway, let's look at Wolfie1740Kingdom's uh, actual evidence on his Reddit, um, on, it, on, on the Reddit page. I'm actually going to screen record Okay, so you should be able to see what I can see now. Um, yes, it is past midnight. I had to make this video right now, otherwise, you know. <laughs> um, so, this is the post. So, at the moment, it's literally sitting on 115 likes. Uh, or upvotes, sorry. And I can't believe that, because this is so amazing. So, um, here we have the post. Okay, this is incredible. So we're gonna read through it. I haven't actually read through it um, uh, fully, um, but I have been told all this by underscore. So, so messing with the survival logbook, I think I managed to find the name of the blah, 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 blah. What I think the answer is to the 8-bit foxy code is bite victim's name. Well, it seems that Michael is shown using red pen, Cassidy uses faded text, and BV just alters text to respond to questions. So yeah, in, in the survival logbook, we have three different characters. Um, then we have two souls, um, which is the crying child, and Cassidy, who we believe at, we believed at some point to both uh, possess Golden Freddy, uh, and then the person who is actually writing in the survival logbook is Michael Afton. 
uh, and then we find out um, who Michael Afton is from that book and stuff. It's the, the survival logbook was meant to was meant for us to figure out the identity of Michael Afton, the crying child as Evan, and Cassidy as the fifth victim. You know. So the way BB responds is through Night five, 4 and 5's feelings about tonight's shift ratings. The normal lineup for these sections are overall fulfillment, health, stress, purpose, hope, and existential dread. Right. Uh, this is the part, you know um, how in the Stitch Wraith, I know things are connecting together a lot, but just bear with me. In the Stitch Wraith, um, there is one uh, person, Jake, uh, who I, I think Jake is the one who can't see, I can't remember. But then there is the other one who cannot hear. Uh, and this connects to the survival log book too because um, the answer, because some of the things the crying child says is like, I can't see, I can't hear. Uh, it, it is really cool. Uh, <laughs> so, BB alters the text in night four and night five sections to respond in the book. For instance, Cassidy states, the party was for you, and in the night four feelings about tonight's shift ratings, let's see if I can enlarge this, sorry. Uh, the existential dread part is replaced by it was for me, a response to Cassidy's statement. Yes, uh, and let me explain how I have my 8-bit chart set up before I go any further, just so I can explain how I got possible name for BB. So the chart already has ABC, I filled in the rest of the chart by continuing the alphabet, and when I was done with the alphabet, I'd continue by writing the alphabet all over again until every space in the chart was full. So there should be a chart. Here we go. Oh, classic Imga. Uh, here is the chart. Okay, so you can see here that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So all of these our alphabets and this is the entire like the code that Scott has used to give us Evan as you can see Evan is given us here uh, given to us here um, so yeah I we will go over that in a minute um, <clears throat> and now on to how I got the name and what the name is it took many guesses but ultimately I decided to go back to the night four and five rating sections and decided to go in order of the responses and find the page number of what BV is responding to the first one is I can hear sounds this is what I was talking about before um, how he can hear and not see um, the page it's responding to is 75 which says does he still talk to you so does he still talk to you I can hear sounds and one trend to notice is that all four pages have a piece of blood on it. This is amazing. This is so good because it makes even more links and even more connections. The fact that it's the crying child who got bitten by by Big Fred Bear, uh, and there was a lot of blood, I assume, uh, and the, all of the pages that are connected to this theory have blood on them. That means that we must be on the li right lines, you know? It, it's too it's too coincidental that all of them that we need have blood on them and no others don't. Um, so next is, it was for me, which is responding to page 103's question of the party was for you, okay? The party was for you, it was for me, right? Uh, next two is on night five, um, as the first two were on night four's ratings, Third is I can't see, responding to page 59's what do you see? So what do you see? I can't see. Uh, and last is I'm scared, which stumped me. So I went off of what I already had. First number was 75, and so on the chart, I went over seven and down five, which got an E. Then I went over 10, down three, and got a V. And then I went over five, down nine, and got an A, which spells out F ever or Eva, um, who is also a character in the Fazbear Frights books, and I knew one name that come, comes to mind, Evan. So I searched for page numbers that could give an N that also makes sense um, when responded to with I'm scared, and I found one, that being Night 2's ratings, a rating which BV has already messed with by changing the numbers on the hope section for the Cassidy code, but here's the thing. 
it has the mentioned blood stain on it. And then I realised how this could be what BV is saying. I'm scared to. He's saying it to what the section is about. Feelings about tonight's shift. Now, that part is a little bit of a stretch, okay? It is a little bit of a stretch. However, the fact that it has blood stain on it, of course, like, maybe, and maybe that was Scott's intention, but I know that Scott has put all the blood there so that it isn't ambiguous, you know? Because if we didn't have the blood, um, then we would think, oh, maybe it's this page, but maybe it's this page, which would lead to a different name, and it wouldn't work, this theory wouldn't work. But the fact that he has put blood on this page means it has to be, it has to be, because it creates a link between all of them. And I, like, this is so amazing. Like, dude. <laughs> the fact that, I don't know when the, when did the security log book came out, come out, like four years ago now, or something like that? That's amazing. That is so amazing how we are still finding things to this day. Um, with that being on page 47, that gives an N on the chart giving the name Evan. Now, at first, I thought this was a bit much of a stretch and passed off until I looked something up. I looked up Evan Afton Reddit post, and apparently there is people already covering the name, but for a different reason. I have yet to read the story myself, like me, but from what I've got, the story, the real Jake has given a suggestion that Evan is the name of the bite victim, as the story contains someone named Evan with a brother named Michael who has similarities with Michael Afton from the game universe. Again, I haven't read the story yet myself, so the information on Evan from the real Jake is only information I've gone from a Reddit post. That is the thing to point out. As I said before, Scott made the security logbook way back four years ago, whenever. We never found the crying child's name, so he made a Fazbear Bright story just so that we would go back and we would say, it's Evan. We know it's Evan. So, in my opinion, um, the real Jake is a story that is there, just, yeah, to tell us a little bit more about Jake, of course, uh, again, I haven't read it, so I don't know much about Jake, but ultimately to tell us that Evan is correct, and I am so sure because there is so much evidence, I am pretty much 99% sure that it is Evan, and this is amazing, this is so good. Uh, anyways, I need I had a need to post this after finding that out. Not only did I manage to find a way to get the name Evan out of the log, but the people have been discussing the name already thanks to a recent Fast by Fight story. So any thoughts on this information or is it just a strange coincidence? So yeah. That's that. Um <laughs> It's amazing. I'm gonna go back to this again. It is so amazing so amazing and I mean I'm sh like I trust you I'm sure there is no mistakes in this and it's so cool it is honestly amazing um I don't have much else to say but um Chris Afterners you suck <laughs> uh and also that recent video I did about is the crying child's name Chris Afton yeah that, that's totally not true uh, I didn't say it was in that video but that, that was just a theory. Um, this is amazing. Please, please, please. Um, no credit to me, please, honestly. I don't want the credit for this, obviously. I'm just here to tell you guys about it. Uh, all credit goes to you slash Wolfie1740. There we go. His, there's his profile. This guy. This guy. Um, it's so amazing that we are still finding evidence towards things uh, right now. Uh, and thank goodness the mystery has been solved. We, we now know the name of the crying child, supposedly. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.